agility is such an important aspect of leadership? Um, it's a great question to, to really ask yourself and to think about. Um, there's three main points that I, I wanna share with you that really highlight for me the reasons why I believe that agility is such a critical aspect of, of, of leadership and, and managing yourself. Reason number one is that change is happening more rapidly today than ever before. Reason number two is that in history, it's been shown over and over again that agility and adaptation is really what wins the game at the end of the day. And reason number three is, is that it's really all about um, the mindset and how change is naturally hard. And so if you can embrace the mindset of agility, you can, be, you can feel a lot more uh, uh, positive about change as, as a process. So let me go through those in a little bit more detail. The first one again, right? So it's happening faster than ever before. Would it surprise you to know that when the, when the phone was first invented, it took nearly close to 100 years for them to evolve the phone to the mobile device? Would it took a mere 30 years for that mobile device to go to a smart device? And then a few years later, we're already looking at artificial intelligence, and now we have machine learning that is learning faster than humans can possibly learn. So it's unrealistic to expect that change is going to slow down. We see it happening faster and faster than before. I mean, think about it. Think about the last time you purchased a computer or a phone or a camera. As soon as you take it out of the store, it's almost outdated. Heck, you probably even bought the last, the last model anyway because it was less expensive. So you can tell just by looking around you how fast things are moving. So we need to move to a space of accepting that reality. Second point is, as history has shown us, it's never been the smartest, the fastest, the biggest who has survived or won. It's always been the most agile. Those, have, those who have been most able to adapt the quickest are the ones who survive. Actually, they don't even survive, they thrive. I mean, think about it right now. Look at the last even six months of 2020, the first six months of 2020, you know, an international pandemic. Watch as the world has had to evolve and shift instantaneously in order to, to correct and to make way and make space for this, this virus, for us to learn about it, for us to figure out ways to protect ourselves from it and to prevent it moving forward. I mean, all these things that have had to happen and all the changes that have had to occur instantaneously. And as if you've seen, you know, humans constrict during this time period, you've watched as nature around us has expanded, right? This is the first time in, you know, easily, 30 or 40 years where you've actually been able to see Catalina Islands from downtown LA, Los Angeles, or that you know China has, is living without smog at this point. I mean, all these changes that instantaneously started to happen as a result of that agility and responding to what's happening in the moment. And that leads me perfectly then to point three, which is really all about the mindset, right? And the mindset that you need to have in relation to agility and why it's so important as leaders and whether that's, you know, leading yourself day to day, or whether that's, you know, leading a small team, or whether that's leading an entire organization, you know, understanding the importance of agility and why it matters is critical to your success. And the reason being is mostly because as humans, we are naturally pretty resistant to change. Now I'll give us, there's a few, there's a segment of us that, you know, we totally embrace change and we love it. But by and large, most of us, we're pretty resistant to it. We crave as humans systems, routine, stability. And so sudden change or, th or things that require us to be agile are pretty challenging. I mean, think about it. The last time you, you know, uh, developed a software application or you did something and you rolled it out and you had to make changes right away, right? Or you made, uh, redesigned your home or, or did, a, um, uh, did an event and you had all, all the details uh, there, but you still had your punch list at the end, right? Because there's always those things that you have to get done. Um, and that you have to be agile for and account for. Um, and really the reason I think it's so important as leadership um, and leadership to understand the importance of agility is because of the mindset that is necessary in order to do it effectively. A lot of us think about change as like, oh, it's so hard. But if we recognize and we accept that change is our reality, how we feel about change when it occurs will be entirely different. 
we won't necessarily resist it as much as, as we'll recognize it as something that we anticipated. So now we'll feel prepared to tackle it. That gives us the confidence to actually go after it and move forward towards it as opposed to resisting it and trying to find reasons why not to do it. You know, that's not the way we've always done it. Might be a mantra that sometimes comes out from those on your team. Um, and so helping them to recognize the importance of that agility and the power of what it does and how it moves us forward collectively will be a big way that you're actually able to help yourself and others be more accepting of agility. Um, and I think at the end of the day, if as we embrace this idea that agility is our norm, it can start to become our competitive advantage. This can be something that you use as a tool to demonstrate to your clients um, and to other high performing team members um, and to retain uh, to attract um, high performing team members that, hey, our organization reacts and responds. And so we're not going to just sur survive through things. We're going to thrive. We're going to be the leaders. Um, we're going to be on the front. We're the pioneers. And I think that's a world that people get excited about. Um, and it's a world that um, is, is something that uh, we can all uh, look positively towards. And so I think those are the main reasons why, um, as leaders, you would really want to embrace agility as part of your um, philosophy and then part of your strategic advantage. So that's really what I, you know, when I think about um, agility and leadership, you know, those are the things that really come to mind and, and why it's so important and why you would want to make it a priority in your organization, right? It's because change is happening faster than ever before. You know, history has always shown us to prove that it's the, the, the ones that thrive are the ones who are the most agile. And, you know, because it's naturally difficult for folks to do as a leader, you have a responsibility to provide an environment where change can be um, more comfortable and, and easier to, uh, to adapt to so that they can put it in action every single day in order to be successful. Um, so I hope you take that away and are able to apply those tools to your team. And I look forward to, to watching your teams strategically, um, uh, ad, uh, strategically agile themselves into 2020 and beyond.